hear the sound, you know it's so spoken. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Self Spoken Podcast. I'm your host, Self Spoken Law, and I got my two co hosts with me. Our World, say what up. What's up? It's your boy, Our World. And I got my guy, Brother Jay. Say what's good. What's goody? All right, we're here, episode three. It's going to be a controversial one today, so get ready. Um, Come on, man. So. And you guys want to say anything before we go ahead and start? Uh, no, actually, I don't have anything. Look, I'll just start with it's twenty twenty one. Just don't say stuff like the baby says stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll that we'll get into that later. Just it's twenty twenty one. Like, how do you forget that? You know. Yeah. One thing I'm gonna say, as the great Chris Brown said, perform. Say thank you and get the fuck off the stage. There you go. That's it. There you go. I mean, there's, That's words to live and die by as an artist. <laughs> yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty, so first up, let's get straight into it. Rolling Loud 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, great festival. A mm-hmm. lot of highlights. Um, yes, sir. Any artist specifically got you guys' attention? I was glad. In my, I'm not even gonna lie. I really was glad to see Chief Keith come back and mm-hmm. do his thing. That was to me. To me, because I, I didn't look at the list beforehand. So yeah. when I s- actually saw the recap, I was like, "Oh, Chief Keith, that's that's yeah, what's that's up, a, yeah, that's a young legend right yeah. there, man." Yeah. Um, Don't like. <laughs> Yo, you know you made it when when uh, Billy Eilish is like, "Yeah, I was I was just jamming out to Chief Keith." Oh that whole yeah. Time. In and all then, honesty. Yeah, I mean that's cross generational. That dude is cross generational. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever, like however you feel about like the topic of his music or whatever, Chief Keith to me is a legend. Like, right. To make it so young at sixteen and then just just have like that cult fan base mm-hmm. yeah. still to this day. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. crazy. Still um, young. He kind of he kind of engineered that like young, ambitious. Like actually sixteen, you know, coming up. Yeah. Not not like young, like, you know, twenties young, like, like yeah. younger than, That's like younger young, than everyone. Young, like yes. Super yeah. young. Yeah. yeah. So he kinda engineered that like I'm by myself or yeah. I'm only with the people that I know, you know, highly yeah. independent. He was like on yeah. some Wayne Young type shit. Revolutionary. Yeah. Yep. Revolutionary. Um any other performers? Uh Travis. Oh, Travis never misses yeah, the performance. Really I don't think honestly. there's yeah, been a Travis performance. Even that. when like rodeo was coming out and nobody went to his shows, like he was still going so hard. Yeah, he was still going he so was. hard. So his mentality, he kept that mentality going. Yeah, right. Like, right. Do you, I mean, do you guys remember his uh, Birds in the Trap sing McKnight performances? Like any of them? I didn't really see one. Any. Dude, comes he, to mind. The Mechanic Bird. That he used to go up on. Oh yes, I do remember Crazy. that. Yo, that was nuts. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That was nuts. So yeah, and then he wild. that just morphed, bro. It like morphed into bigger and bigger things each time. Like he always goes crazy. Yeah. Um. Who else? Uzi. Uzi. Yeah, he, Another Uzi, guy yeah. always like brings the energy. Again. Yeah. Um, you were about to say something. You look like you were. No, to no, say no. Something. I was just, just thinking. Yeah. There's a couple. There's like somebody was thinking about. I can't remember. Uzi. I think the reason Uzi, uh, and like Playboy Cardi. Like the reason those two dudes are able to. I think. I think Playboy Cardi was Lollapalooza. I don't. I don't. I, I can't remember. But no, I um, don't. the reason those those artists are so like their performances are so great. A lot of the times is their fan base. Mm-hmm. Their fan base really keeps that energy, like That's a fact. you know, lo- through throughout that. Because think about it, like they they in particular are not doing anything crazy. Their music is fantastic, but like their fans are just so hype and they just love them so much. They show yeah. them so much love. Who else? I think crazy. Polo G did good. I did TJ? not see his performance. No, well, T- yeah, TJ obviously. Yeah, did TJ good. did good. We're talking but about I didn't, see, I didn't oh. see Polo. I saw Polo G's. I saw his Polo. I saw it. Was po- yeah. I saw it. How was it, it? It was cool to me. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, in my opinion, it was cool. Yeah. Once yeah. again, a dude driven by his fan base. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can have some loyal fans at Polo G. You know, it's, you know, it's mm-hmm. the thing with these 
these festivals especially, the type of music you make really influences how well your performance right. goes. Like, if you're, like, if your music is kind of soft and subtle, like, it's not going to go as crazy. Right. Not to say the performance is bad, but obviously, as you can see, the people we name, they have crazy hype songs. Right. So, of course, they're going to be hype. Mm-hmm. The fans are going to be hype. So, it really depends on the type of music you yeah, make, in my you can, opinion. It's really how you yeah. connect with people. That's um, a good thing. That's really a good thing about hip-hop. Uh, dude, Ski Mask. Another oh, dope, man. Oh, always yes. kills I don't think always. you're not going to get hurt in a ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> you're either throwing yeah, bows or receiving them. Like. Truth be told. Truth I've be been told. in... I haven't been to that many shows in my life. I've been in, like, like one serious mosh pit. Yo, I remember we were jumping, and then one guy, he tripped, and then I've never... I haven't seen him the rest nah. of the show. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he That's died. Rough. I don't know what happened. Like, That's he just rough. disappeared. I'm, that shit was crazy. I kid you not. I have... <laughs> if we're gonna be honest, I'm gonna say this. I don't care. I've literally never been to a concert in my entire life. Damn, man. We're gonna change that. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yo, what's gonna coming up um, soon? Um... The West Side Gun thing in Coney Island is coming up. Did, what was that festival? Ain't there a festival in September? I can't remember the name. There's another Rolling Loud. Yeah, here, right? Oh, no, yeah, no, so. yeah. Sold out, though, I think. Of course. Three day passes only. You know how it goes. Yeah. COVID, they didn't want to have people, different people here on different days. Because they yeah. didn't want to have to yeah. test more people. They didn't want to have yeah. to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and when sure is it going to. Wait, where is it going to be? Huh? City Field, City same oh. same place it was last time. I was actually at that last Rolling Loud, mm. 2019. That was the Rolling Loud that Pop Smoke got taken off. Oh, because of. of like the whole gang related yes. thing. Yeah, it That's was a wild. bunch of it was a bunch of heads. That's bunch of wild. Heads. So, and it was that dude. I would love to see Pop Smoke. Man, you would have went time. crazy. And I, I feel like they kind of regret it now. Yep. The two people that I went there to see, Pop Smoke and Trippy Red, were both taken off. Trippy was just sick. Yeah, you told like, me about that. He was just that. sick that day. So yeah. Um, yeah. But rolling out Miami was the baby. Okay. And I feel like <laughs> we won't. We'll talk about it eventually. Yeah, we'll get into we're it. Get there, we're we're right solely here. talking but, about his mm-hmm. musical performance. Right? Besides all yes. of the bullshit that yeah. happened. His yeah. performance yeah, this was nigga great. Is, yes. Yeah, his, his performance was up there, of yes. course. Yeah, definitely one of the best yeah. ones. Um, yeah. Anybody uh, else? Should we address the elephant in the room that everybody's going to keep addressing? Oh, do you want? Do y'all just want to... Go straight into it? I mean... No, no, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Freestyle. Oh, nah. I, honestly, oh, I didn't want to talk dude. about the negative. I partially did. I didn't want to talk about like, that, like... But I here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. A positive coil array, by the way, if you didn't catch yeah. on to what we were yeah. talking yeah. about. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple videos of songs that people don't know by her that she's performing that, that true. nobody's That's getting That's why it, may, it kind of makes it. But it's like... Have you seen the the videos from people's phones right up in front when she's when she was performing like the... He called me big poop. Like that yeah. song. I don't remember no. the name of it. I Bro, think that's what it's called. People were getting hype. Yeah. People, she was all over the crowd, like in the front of the crowd. People mm-hmm. were going crazy. Yeah. And it's like that. That's the side that like they don't want to show you. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously they're gonna pray for the downfall. It was the double XL thing plus those videos. Like she's on, she's on a losing yeah. streak right now. But like, the thing is, I felt, I feel as well. Okay, I say it's a fifty-fifty ordeal. If you want to promote something new, into into you know. You gotta to drop a lot the people. song first. That's right. what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, right. if you wanna, that does look like a good place to drop something new. Since right. like a lot of people, they get a chance to hear, it, understand what it is. But it does go to, it does it help to drop it beforehand. Depends just so how like big a, you are. That is At true. Yeah. Race size, yeah. she can't. I don't yeah, think no, she no, can no, no, no. Yeah. Because she not was, she's she, not big. Yeah, because like she's pelling up there. But she's still like climbing. Yeah. Exactly. Because exactly. Cardi, when he performs unreleased, granted, everybody knows the unreleased songs anyway. <laughs> right, oh, that's, that's true. That's true. But even besides that, like, when he performs unreleased, people are like, yo, people like, they're wrong. So, yeah. I mean, you're right. I'm not sure if she necessarily had a strong enough fan base to be promoting a brand new yeah. song at a show. Right. So, right. so it's understandable. I mean, besides that, like, like you said, the rest of her performance was good. It's just, you know, like, people are just trying to bring her down and I don't really like that. I get it if you're not a huge fan of her, whatever. 
But just but, imagine being in her shoes, mm, trying to exactly. do the art that you mm, want to do, and a lot of mm-hmm. people are just criticizing you, only so, showing your downfall. I'm, I'm going to talk about two uh, more really good performances real quick, and then we can get into uh, yeah. the situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, so <laughs> the, other, <laughs> the, two, the two performances I want to talk about were at Lollapalooza. They were Megan's performance and oh. Trippy's performance. So I'm going to start with Megan's performance. Dude. I Megan's think dope, Megan bro. had the biggest performance at Lollapalooza of any of the artists. I didn't see the Lollapalooza, so I really wish I did. I didn't bro. get to catch up on it. Okay, so do you remember DMX performing at... Have you ever seen the video of Yo, DMX performing when he was in, in the, 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 the red the overalls? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, legendary. That's classic. Bro, it That's was like classic. that, but like smaller, obviously, but all females, bro. Oh, of course. And, and then like, like there were some moshes. But like you can hear her like, yo, what a females at? Boom! Like the decibels were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like it was ridiculous. That's that's great. That's great for her though. Like mm-hmm. that's great of for her course, that she could that course. she could oh, she almost like out headline the headliners. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, like, she. That's yo, that's so great. Yeah, she continuing oh, to do her thing. Oh, man. I'm always that's rooting for Meg. You know, yeah. like she mm-hmm. deserves everything that she has coming to her. I'm always rooting for her. She's dope. Yeah, for sure. And then Trippy's performance. Probably always, the biggest mosh. Probably the biggest mosh of, yeah. of of any of the performances. That's another. Right, so. That's another mosh you might not get out of exactly. safely. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially yeah, I kind of thought, oh come on, go out, yeah. Because it starts so slow. You have yeah. You have everybody. Those are the songs that go crazy in moshes. Like they the build up and yeah, everybody's yeah, just super chilling, and then they just go mm-hmm. bow, bow. Yeah. That shit go crazy. I really thought, what's the name? Uh, some guy was going to outperform uh, Chippy with the mosh, but. Yeah. It's very hard to. He had the it's whole very hard to. entire crowd jumping. It was crazy. Really, really, really. It's very, very hard it's crazy. to. crazy. But, um, yeah. Is that it for performances? Rolling Loud. <sighs> I would say so. Lollapalooza. Yeah. I would say so. Okay. If anybody else performed great, we probably just didn't remember. Yeah. We just yeah. made note yeah. of. Right. Of yeah, like the ones that so we really, like. Really please, nobody get offended. Yeah. yeah. Please. We're just handful we picked out of a hat mm-hmm. yeah. at least that's a full of too, yeah right? exactly because we're trying to move we, on with we the do have this this next topic to get yeah into. that's, that's, a, that's a, a serious one everyone's yeah, talking about we're probably gonna spend the most time on this <laughs> um let's let's not sugarcoat it anymore the baby how we feeling guys you want to go ahead <laughs> <laughs> i don't this know is, what this to is, say this like is, all right i know like I know this is crazy, but at the same time, like I feel like we kind of got to put our big boy pants on and get serious because this is a real serious and touchy yeah, subject. Yeah, it's a legitimate bro. topic. Yeah, it's, it's um because you're affecting, you're not affecting just one part of the, you know, you're not affecting that one part. You're affecting literally everybody, including yourself. And now, so now when I just look at it, I'm just like, he's sheesh, man. That's all I can say. So. <laughs> Just uh, before we talk about how we feel about it, whatever, I just want to, like, maybe give a little background. Um, well, I have the so, quotes if you want. Yeah, go ahead. I'll keep it clean, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Because it got course, real, course. It got real yeah. bad. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the first first thing he went into was uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah, yes. the whole HIV, AIDS. Right, comment. Mm-hmm. right. Um, then he talked about, uh, you know, females and... and you know, their their things smelling like this and that and just yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. Um and then and the then he, balance and then the, well. Right. And then there were some anti gay comments yeah. right after that. Um I think the worst part of that is associating having an S T D with being gay. Yeah. Being gay. Yeah, because um, this this even ages back to So Yes. Oh, wow. The thing the thing with what happened before actually people made note of so he performed crybaby right and mm-hmm. obviously i'm pretty sure everybody knows that megan doesn't fuck with tori at all right and the baby made a song with tori so she stopped fucking with him as a result right and he performed crybaby their song together right after crybaby he brought out tori now i'm not into conspiracy theories or none of that but that did kind of seem planned. So that kind of tipped people off a little bit, but that wasn't really what set them off. It was obviously, like we said, Everything the comments. Just, yeah. And after the controversy started, a day or two after, he released a music video basically saying, I don't give a fuck. 
and then in the video he also made a comment about Abe saying something like like Abe we're gonna be on your ass or something like that I can't remember the line now that line to me is not a bad line like you can reference almost whatever you want right in in a song but Right after making those comments, you say that in a song. I feel like he was just asking for yeah, it yeah, at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and it's twenty twenty one. Let's remind exactly. You it's so how are we feeling about the comments now? Um, you want to go ahead? You want to take it? I think more than anything, it's stupid. Like it's just more than anything, it's dumb. Like. You could have those views, and like you said, Chris Brown thing, like, get on the stage, perform, say goodbye, get off, right? Like, yeah. you can have those views, still be a huge star, and not fucking get yourself canceled by yeah. doing something like that. Of course, but, that's but, but, impossible. But he, I, he, like, felt like he had to do it for some reason, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was... I don't know if it was just in the moment, like he just thought of it, like, oh, you know, this is this would be something funny to say, this would get cheers or whatever, or yeah. if it was something that he went onto stage, like... And you could hear it in the crowd, like, when he was saying that stuff, some of the people were like, uh... Like, what? Uh, you can hear the awkwardness from the crowd. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's the, not the right place, not the right time, and I think, more than anything, if you want to be, if you want to be objective about it, like, it makes sense that he's getting taken off stuff, not even because of what he said... But because less people might go see him, therefore less people might spend money that is at those places. Mm-hmm. Why would yeah. they? Why would they have? From you, a business standpoint, exactly, you wouldn't want because they look at like it like, that, oh, show. Exactly. You, let, yeah, you let somebody like that come on. No, no I'm, I'm good. Right. It'll look like I'm supporting his actions. So yeah. what is the point of me going? And then if they didn't kick him off, it looked like they supporting his actions yeah. too. So it's like a whole lose lose so, situation. I'm gonna say this as in. As a Caribbean man, like our culture in general is homophobic. Hip hop culture is homophobic. So growing up, you're in that environment, especially my favorite music is rap and I'm from the Caribbean. So homophobia is left and right, basically, right. Yeah, in, right. In, like, in my life. But as I get older and you got to realize that that it's not your fucking business at the end of the day what somebody who they want to love who they want to do whatever they want to do with it's not your business and even if you don't quote unquote agree with it which is stupid why are you mad at somebody being themselves even if you don't want to agree with it whatever just shut up right exactly it's like you keep it to yourself really like if you have something is. nice, as what what are the, what do people always tell us? If you have nothing, nothing nice, nice to, to say, say don't, don't say it exactly. at all. So I just feel like it was really a bad time to make those comments, yeah. especially in like you said, twenty twenty one, where where we're getting much aware now, we're giving people more rights and things of that mm-hmm. nature. Yeah, yeah, it's right. a terrible time to make comments mm-hmm. like that, because, and even. Yeah. Even hip hop legends that have made homophobic comments in the past, they have actually like rejected the songs that they've said those comments. Mm-hmm. They're like, yo, I don't support that anymore. I've grown. So you seeing that now, why don't you lead by example? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like it was just a really bad time to make those comments. You shouldn't make those comments, period. But yeah, he chose of the worst time he to, chose, like, to the top, say that. He chose like the top of the fucking throne. Where everyone was looking at him and, and seeing him, that's where he chose to say that. Yeah. And that, my friend, was the worst yeah. option you could go with. <laughs> Literally could not have been worse. <laughs> and what was so bad about it also is that I believe Lil Nas X's video came out a few days before the book. Am I, yeah, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. then Nas had, had a girl, girl, so. yeah, Lil Nas had a lot, of, lot to say. I think he had a lot to say, but I know he commented on the head. Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. his video, like, I think yeah. it had like a lot yeah. of like, like naked men in the video. Yeah, a lot of, yeah. of males, so, but nude, but that's naked. You know, I feel like he made those comments most likely because of that video. Mm-hmm. To me, anyway. I mean, I think so, it was. I think it was a combination of things. Like, mm-hmm. it, you know, it was. I think there's also like. I mean, according to what Boosie thinks, like if anyone cares about what Boosie thinks. Um, according, according to, to that, listen, man, y'all, y'all know, y'all know that tweet. 
If T.I. and Lil Boozy are on your side, you're on the wrong side. Right, exactly. That's what I'm trying okay. to say. Like, there, I think there's like a... Like a it's a kind of like a... It's, would you agree that it's like an old head mentality? I fully agree. Yeah, you so, you want to so, expand on that? that? Yeah, no, no, no. You're right. That's a... It's like, a, it's like an old head mentality. And like, I feel like... If you don't know what Boosie said today or yesterday, he said... He said, in 10 years from now, it's not going to be normal. What do you say? In 10 years from now, it's not going to be normal for a kid to be straight. Yeah. And I'm like, That is so dumb. That is like literally one of the dumbest things I've ever See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm not, I don't, I don't agree with what he's saying at all. I don't. But in the context of what he was trying to say, I get why he said it, but he still shouldn't have never said it. I think, I think the, the worst part of it is the reasoning behind it. Exactly. Because if he's saying, yeah. if he's saying it because the baby is getting shit on for saying what he said, that's the worst reason. Yeah, it's reason. like, yeah. bro, you really that's, just added more to the to the. Um, that's vibe, literally like, that's more. you saying that because like, oh, we don't get to make fun of gay people. Oh, that means you're not allowed. To, that means like it's not gonna be normal to be straight later on. Like if if he's saying like he wouldn't have said that if the baby didn't say what he said. I agree. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have came out. Because why else? Would, why else is he saying that? I'm gonna be honest. If if listen, man, I don't know Boozy personally. Obviously, he doesn't know me personally. I'm not gonna sure. attack his character. I'm not gonna do none of that. But if he's ever on my side, real shit. <laughs> now you gotta rethink I, it. <laughs> I, I gotta question it because yeah. it's just this, like you said, this old head mentality that certain people have they're just they're just so close-minded and yeah. and it being abnormal to be straight in 10 years is the dumbest thing i've yeah. heard in a minute i just have i just want to move on from boozy man yeah. i have nothing else to say about boozy yeah. but now it's just stupid that's it now the baby he has been removed from several and mm-hmm. i mean several shows at this point mm-hmm. i yeah, can't remember like the names but today. i think governor's ball I think Lollapalooza. I can't remember what else. I honestly can't, but several shows are removing him. So my question to you guys is, do you think him receiving all these punishments are justified or no? Um, I think, I think it, it's funny though, because I think like, here, I'll, I'll let Josh talk, Josh talk first, because I, I have a, a specific outlook on that. So I'll let you mm-hmm. first. My, well, my take on it, I feel, I mean, cause, cause what more can you really do after that? Cause it's like, you're already, you're losing a big amount of your fans. You're kicked off of a lot of, uh, business potential and just potential doing you and so on and so forth. So it's like, in my opinion, I, I do feel like, you know, his actions are being, being held accountable for. Yeah. Like there's, there's really nothing else you could do after that. What you going to put him in jail because he said something like that right no and that didn't like whatever he's getting now and probably a little more later yeah so be it this is this this is as far as it can go for his for his actions to be you know yeah taken into consideration i think the biggest part that people have to think about is the business side of it i think it actually it low-key doesn't matter whether or not it's justified it's these companies looking at him and being like hey less people are now going to come to our concert because there were some people that were there just to see you who may be gay and are now like i don't like the baby and so i will no i'm no longer going to this concert doesn't make financial sense right financially it does not make sense for these companies to keep him on their roster yeah like if you're gonna have less people coming like why would you do that you know Mm -hmm. like what do you think so what i'm gonna say I, I say I'm kind of in the middle because here's my thing, right? And I want to lead into the next topic regarding the baby. So after the comments came out or whatever and he was getting shit for it, not only did he just refuse to back off, but he, like I said, released that music video basically repeating some of the comments that he made. He seemed unapologetic. So, of course, he got shit for it he got yeah. removed from a bunch of concerts now i feel like if he at least made an attempt earlier to be like okay yeah i see i shouldn't have said that i apologize or 
moving on, I'm going to try to be better. So maybe he shouldn't have gotten kicked off all those shows, but he said what he said. He stood on it, so he received the consequences. And I want to lead into that now. He actually apologized, apologized. just yesterday, mm-hmm. the day before we were recording this. He apologized. And honestly, it felt half ass. But y- y'all can tell me how y'all feel about Forget it. Forget the half ass. It was one, it was too late. Two, it was bullshit. It was, it was straight was bullshit. Is that <laughs> Come on, yeah. now. You, you, you he was like, how can we fix this, baby? Yeah. How can we fix this? Exactly. Like, you better not see yourself. He's literally, you know how this nigga talk. Do you really think he gonna sit here and say that bullshit by himself? Busted egg. What the fuck? Get out of here with Yo, that, man. man. Come on, that was horrible. <laughs> I understand if he like, okay, I'd be a little more accepting if he personally made a video himself. Yeah. Apologizing that. I, I, you know, I'd be a little more on the side of like, right. hey, you know, maybe we can give him another chance. But nigga, that, whatever the hell that was, whatever that his was managers head. and whoever decided <laughs> to type that bull for him. And bro, time, come on now. Get a fire in. was awful. Whack, especially yeah, after the video. Got, he, got, Whack. he got kicked off of two things and then apologized. Like, yeah. bro. Then he lose like a, a clothing deal too, right? Yep. What's the clothing so. deal? Yeah. Honestly, mistakes were mistake made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think so. Honestly, I feel like he only made those comments because he was losing bread. Like, Maybe. Like people fold, yo. I'm telling you, people fold, fold when the bag pressure, is yeah. threat- when the bag is threatened. I, you fold quick. Bro, I mean, no matter what your stances are, once your money is threatened, like you go on the side with the, the pressure, money. Bro. I honestly don't feel like he even believed the apology him damn self. Who knows, so, man? I hope not. But maybe he'll be making he'll be making bank because all his supporters that are support this version of him that is are true like, too. are like out there, you know, like Oh yeah, the ones that heavy. don't care. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah. like what did he like, say that was know. so bad? Right. Like, right. Yeah. Man, Listen, you know. man, like yeah. if say, if a white if a white guy were to go on stage, it was like, yo, if you don't support them niggas, <laughs> put your hands up. <laughs> Y'all would, would be cool so with that? Much. It would have been so You much. let me know. <laughs> you let me know if you would have been Hell cool with that. Hell no, would be you cool let me with know. that, nigga. So, how do you think gay people feel when probably their favorite artist is going up there saying, oh, like, if you ain't gay, if you ain't doing this and that, put your hands up. Like, how do, how would you feel about that? Right. Like, come on. Because if you think about it, like, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, because I'm, now I'm thinking about it, it's 2021, 20 years ago, like, Saying something like what you just said, like, might have been on the same level as what, as what the baby just said right mm-hmm. now, society-wise, you know? Yeah. Because that's just how it was, unfortunately. Yeah. It's really, it's unfortunate. Yeah. That's like, like when... But, like, we'll, you know, that, it'll be one of those things where if somebody makes the comment that the baby made in 10 years from now, they're done, done. Like, yeah. Like he's because thinking about it now. He's lucky it's twenty twenty one and not twenty thirty one. Yeah, <laughs> boy, boy. So, do you guys think he could recover from this a little Absolutely. bit? Absolutely, I, I do. What the baby's like thirty? I feel like he's thirty. Uh, he's twenty nine or thirty. Yeah. I thought he was twenty six. I thought I feel like he's at that age where he should start being self aware. Honestly, you should start being self aware when you're like. In your mid twenties, like, basically your early twenties is your growing ass, phase, your you learning phase. Yeah. But your mid twenties, mid to late twenties, you should be. That's when you gotta realize understanding. You gotta, yes, yeah, that's when you gotta realize you gotta be a grown ass man. You, like, and no matter, even if you felt the way you felt, which I don't agree with, even if you felt that way, you should not have mm-hmm. said it yeah. in a stage in front of hundreds, yeah, maybe no. thousands of people. Mm-hmm. That was just the, not the it. worst part of it is, is his selection of. The words setting. and yeah, yeah. yeah said everything, yeah. Just the how it was, all was set up was just trash. It just wasn't it, man. Yeah. Shit remind me of um back when, you know, like, you know, a lot of our favorite artists, like we said, had, you know, did all that in the past and talked about it. I remember I I just recall real quick, I just recall when they used to protest against M because of those words that he yeah. said, bro. So it was it was, it was like on him. Now. Imagine he said that now. Oh, imagine golly. if he was like an up and coming rapper saying stuff like that now. Oh man, he would have been canceled, canceled. So man, he wouldn't have been a joke. Just like, just moving forward. Like I said, I just hope he doesn't do things like that anymore. But honestly, from this point forward, I feel like 
a lot of shows just might not book him. If he gets like booked regularly again, it's gonna yeah. be quite some time after that. Mm-hmm. And quite a lot. like, I feel like it needs to be some time. Like I said, and it needs to be maybe a better apology. I'm not asking. Him, well, he doesn't have to apologize again, but. Just moving forward, make it seem like it was sincere. Yeah, he, like, yeah. And just, he's like trying to own up to everything. Yeah, like cut out the homophobia in your right. music. Like just move differently from now on and maybe yeah. he'll bounce back. Yeah. But yeah, man. That's about it for the baby. Um another hip hop news. Drake just announced that certified lover boy is complete, mm-hmm. recorded, mixed, mastered, everything's done. So I don't think we heard any snippets. No. Yeah, we didn't not heard we, nothing. There's not even a feature list. Yet. Yeah, there's, there's nothing. nothing. There's only speculation. Yeah, no yeah. date, no nothing. But um, what are you guys expecting? Like, what are you looking for in this new album? Okay, so he, I mean, he says that this is going to, this is connected with Scorpion. This is supposed mm. to be like a follow-up to Scorpion. So I think it's going to be, he- I, I mean, according to the name, I think it's going to be heavy R&B. And if, yeah. not, if not heavy R&B, then sing trap, you know, like mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a lot of notation in it. <clears throat> yeah. But, I mean, that's just according to the name. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but you that's can literally all we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's it. Yeah. But you just go for the name. What you thinking? Yeah. I don't expect nothing. I'm going to be honest. I don't expect nothing. That's better. Yeah. 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 It's just like... Because if you expect something else and then you don't yeah. get it, you're going to be tight. It's going to be like... It's I'm pretty sure I said that like the last ones. video. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. And it's, and it's, um, it's just going to be a repeat... I don't, I don't want to say repeating process, but it's just going to be like, to me, the you know similar albums after views. Mm-hmm. Similar albums after views, in my opinion. That makes sense. Because <clears throat> I feel like that was kind of the timeline where he really started diving into yes. like, the more the singing, yes. the R&B lane. Yes. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm expecting an R&B lane. Honestly, I really like when Drake is rapping, man. Like when Drake, yeah, Drake can spit. Yes. Like when he's rapping, yes. like he's on his shit. Yes. But I feel like yes. as as he furthered into his career, he started delving less and less from that. Now I'm not asking for an entire rap album, just straight bars and just nothing else. Can make it like but, a take care type of thing. Yeah, I would like a heavy mix of both. I would like those club songs. Mm-hmm. I would like the R&B songs. I want those songs to get me in my bag. Like I want that. Yes. But I also want some songs where he's just talking his shit. Like yo, like I just rented out yeah. a fucking football stadium, went on a date, like flexing <laughs> type shit. I want that on the album too. But, yo, yo. So I mean, you might you might actually get some of that uh, because of two reasons. Both speculation, obviously. Mm-hmm. But the first reason is has a little bit of uh, proof to it. There's a song that recently came out from a guy named Smiley. I don't know if you guys saw it. Smiley featuring Drake. It's been all over my Instagram. I think so. I think um, I've heard about that. Know. So I actually listened to the song, and uh, it's a good song. But Smiley, he, he has his own style that uh, you have to get used to. It's, re- it's kind of weird. It's kind of laid back. Drake... Bro, Drake wrote a rap song, like a hip hop song. Like mm. that was he didn't sing on it, he didn't bullshit you. Like they went bar for bar on this. Mm. And Drake said he. Drake right, said we he gotta had, go hear that right after yeah. this is yeah. done. Drake yeah. said he. Drake said he. He redid his bars because it, it the other one got leaked. Uh, so like that's crazy. I don't know who the smiley guy is. It's produced by Take Take Heat too. I don't know who the smiley guy is, but he got the package deal, bro. He got a take his beat with Drake on it, and he redid his whole verse. Yeah, nah, that's hard. Take his fuck these niggas up, <laughs> bro. It's a, it's that. So he, I have some potential. Um, that's some potential. I mean, right there. It's mm-hmm. like you know. And then the other thing is, there was a picture that came out of Metro Boomin, Drake, and Future, and we were talking about this off camera, John. Yes, yeah. yeah there, was, there was a, there was a picture that came out, bro. That is a good time. What a time to be alive. What a time. <laughs> Man. <Be> up. <laughs> if, they, if they bring back that vibe, I, I, hope, I, there's no I, that. <laughs> I hope there's no copyright when I see that. I hope there's no copyright strike when I see that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you really never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's a you fact. too. You never Yo. know. You never know. But, but um, yeah. But what would you feel about, how do you feel about that? How would you feel about future ex-Drake, you know, you know, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. What do you What do you think? 
I would want to see it come back. I would definitely want to. I mean, no questions asked. No nothing. Mm-hmm. I would definitely want to see it come back. Definitely that that hard try by because Drake is honestly like no gas, no nothing. One of the most versatile rappers like ever. Mm-hmm. Like they call he can that get on. Kashi. <laughs> We're not putting that in there. <laughs> Nah, we're keeping that in there. I'm <laughs> crying. Hard, son. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Drake could get on anything. Like, well, hey, artist, artist of the decade for yeah. a reason. Yep, and I agree with that. Trap, yeah, R&B, reggae. Like, and bro. he switches up the accent for every... Yo, yeah. that shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, scary, he really bro. changes... He that changes ethnicities crazy. every song. <laughs> yeah. That shit is nuts. But yeah, yeah. so... What I'm expecting on this album, um, honestly, I feel like it, it mostly army. That's what I'm expecting. It's not what I want personally, but Drake don't care about what I want, right? Mm-hmm. Honestly, but I'm expecting mostly R and B. I'm expecting that trap sound. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's gonna be much of that, you know, like I said, that island sound mm-hmm. yeah. he likes doing. Oh, I'm also expecting more so UK type beats. Because mm-hmm. we kind of saw a little bit of that on that song. Um, I forgot the name. But it was on Dark Lane demo tapes. It was the last song. Um, I believe Fabi's on it, but that was like a, a drill, hard UK type yeah, beat. Yeah, yeah. I'm also kind of expecting that sound. I'm hoping that's there. You know but, he wants mm-hmm. to make more of that. Yeah, definitely. Cause it's a like what what uh, I mean, what producers do you guys want on this album? Producers, um, other than Metro. I think uh, Metro. I think Khaled probably gonna do a little something. So you already know. Uh, and six, right? Six is gonna be on it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Forty gonna be on it too, definitely, right? Yeah. Doesn't he mostly engineer? Yeah, that's though? that's yeah, that's literally forty. Yeah, yeah that's his boy. So never mind. Yeah, but who I'm thinking? Um. Oh, low key, I want to see DA got that dope. Mm. I low key want to see DA got that dope. That's because nigga, that that, that, that nigga been been. I don't know. He's been having my liking for the past three years now. Yeah, he does. Some yeah, yeah. For the take heat. I want on that album. Yeah, of take course. Keith. Just mentioned him, man. You know, it'd be really cool if there was a like a Kenny Beats song on mm. there. Cause he always comes out. He always has just deep bass, like hard hitting stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, obviously, I don't think it would happen. Yeah. And I don't think Kenny's big cool. enough either. I just thought I it was mighty weird, but just like you said, like I'm not sure if he's huge enough. I just thought about Pierre for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, you never but know. Drake on a Pierre B. Yo, Drake on a Pierre B. Would be that should be kind of fire. <laughs> yeah. Because. I mean it. Cause he gonna kill everything else in it. Yeah, cause Pain nineteen ninety nine, right? Um, Take Heat produced that, right? Mm-hmm. But it kind of gave me like Pierre mm. feels. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock it entirely. Yeah, I wouldn't. Knock I feel it like there's potential yeah. there, especially cause Cardi he, works with Pierre, obviously. Right, and Pierre so. has also made beats for Trippy and Cardi and mm-hmm. all of them. So yeah, it's like, so sorry. They, you know, Day Trip. They trip took it to ten. I got home. Oh. 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 Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nah, crazy. That would be hard. Yeah, so day day trip would be a good uh uh a good collab right there. Yeah. They produced like a lot of Lil Nas X's songs and mm-hmm. then a lot of like Travis and um uh Sheck West. Yeah. So, and Sheck West and Travis and Drake are all like close. Yeah. So, oh. what are you expecting as far as features now? I don't think we discussed features yet. Besides, obviously, we, we F- said future. Future, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, that's like a, from what it looks like now, that's like a guarantee. It has yeah. to be a guarantee. Right. No matter what. from the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who would y'all want to see? I want to see Hope again. Yeah. But I mean, I'm he, not sure if. I don't if know. it's mostly R and B, I'm not sure if he would throw Hope on this. So I'm we're probably sure Tra- Tra- oh. Travis. I'm assuming. Travis probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Honestly, I really want to see a lot of his OVO team on there too. Yeah, yeah. Like Roy Woods. Roy, Roy Woods is my dude, son. Oh, bro. Roy Woods is my guy. You man. know who if, I need a feature from right now? If it's Drake, um, uh, 
the guy who was um. Pull up, I'm out at the after party. You and Don, I. Don, yo, I need a Don Oliver. Yo, Oliver. Don yo, and bro. Drake will break the internet, <laughs> yo. Yes. A Don Tolliver Drake feature would be ridiculous. That would be stupid. Oh, Lil Wayne, yo. Yeah. Lil Wayne yeah. would be dope on this, man. Yeah, oh, well, hell yeah, of course. Hopefully, hopefully, Nikki too. The whole, the yeah, his whole, whole, that whole squad, yeah. Him back. Nah, I need um, to drink it. I, I would uh, love to see drinking cold with something uh, again, Jeremiah. too. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, that's my dude. Jeremiah, that would be good, too. That would be good, dude. too. Honestly, I feel like the feature list might be a little small. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad that's at all. That's like, definitely we're just throwing bad. names out, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be a heavy feature nah. project. Yeah. Because a lot of Drake's projects, if I'm not mistaken, they don't be having crazy, crazy features in general. No. He be on the feature with them. Yeah. But his, it's no. Yeah. Dude, I don't, he doesn't do features wrong. No. Like, he does so. every feature. Yeah. Even if you don't think, like, it's, like, amazing, but he's at least going to look good, like, yeah. at least, yeah. bare minimum. And I really like Kyle Drake. Like, he always tries to give new artists opportunities. Like, if you're if you're fire, if you're if you're popping, like, he gives you oh, a song. Baby King. Like Baby Keem, bro. That's your that? direct activity. Uh, yeah, that, that's Keen. what you want. But that's like, so, as far as a feature. That's like Drake's like favorite oh. up and coming artist right now. Oh, so you Baby think Keen. he has potential to go on there? Yeah, I think so. I think if Baby Keem's got a song with Travis, like he could get a song with Drake. I can see that. Yeah. I think there's a big chance. Yeah. As of right I'm now, glad. Just gonna, I'm go ahead. No, I'm just saying we just gonna have to wait and see. Us. Yeah, <laughs> like we have <laughs> nothing, yo. We don't have a feature list. We don't have a date drop. Do we no. even have an album cover? We do have a date drop, I believe, actually. We do. You sure that's not just people capping? Yeah. Not a date drop. But a we month, might have a like, month. Yeah. Okay. I think. I, st- I saw I, August, I, but I I want to I want to hear it out of Drake's mouth. I thought yeah. it was early September. That's what I saw. You saw September. I saw August, but that's I didn't I don't see anything August. as far as just the title, and that's it. So yeah. I'm just like, cause I, you know, that's I'm literally just all we have. Yeah, like I'm just waiting. Whatever, he, whenever he drop it, he drop it. But it before the end of summer. That's all we got. That's so what then he said. Gotta be you know? Yeah. So it got to be at least in this month and next month. Yeah. So. Hopefully late, this I'm month. assuming late August, late early August, summer. Early, early, I mean, early September. September yeah. yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Drake, certified lover boy. Hoping to see some great things. Hoping to hear some great music. I'm expecting it. So, Drake, it's on you, my guy. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, this was a pretty long episode. We're definitely going to, you know, cut some of it out. But this might be our longest episode so far because yeah. we definitely talked about a lot. We talked about yeah. some very important A lot of important stuff. A lot yeah. Of yeah, the important part. Yeah. yeah, so everything yeah. we're definitely going to have to cut some stuff out. But besides that, this might be our longest video mm-hmm. so far. Um, Thank you if you made it this far, by the way. Yeah, Yo, appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. I know a brand new, really like, a brand new podcast, like, and it's hard to generate, you know, yeah. a bunch of fans for it. So if you really made it this far, we appreciate it. Definitely. Um, so you guys have any, like, closing thoughts you want to leave off with? Um, anything about Rolling Loud? Anything yeah, about the I mean, baby? Anything about Drake? No, nah, man. I mean, I hope you guys, if if you were in the middle about any of the situations then I hope you you know learn something and you can determine you know on your own yeah. how you feel about it yeah. yeah maybe even leave a comment tell us, right, yeah. tell us how you comments. personally feel yeah. Yeah. yeah about everything mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be just one topic just, just all the topics right, yeah. right. Just let us know, and, and let us know your favorite artist yeah. your favorite performer yeah. uh, your performance from Rolling Loud yeah, and, um, and uh, even yeah. though I didn't see any performances, but <laughs> yeah. still comment anyway because yeah. my guy owed it. So yeah. and then you know, keep the comments a little PG thirteen because you know how yeah, it is. Please, you know, you know how we it already cursed a bunch. Man. <laughs> Ain't no monetizing this. Yeah, one. No. So nah. um, yeah, that's about it from us, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, give us a like. It really helps a lot. 
and also subscribe for more videos like this. Um, yeah, and I think that's that's a wrap. So like, comment, subscribe, share it around. Yeah, so just stay tuned for some more self spoken podcasts. Talking yes. about your favorite artists, current topics going on in hip hop, and, yeah. and bring your friends. Yes. Bring your friends. If you watch this mm-hmm. alone, cool, but it's always nice to watch with the crowd. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Bring yes, sir. Friends. So we're out of here, y'all. Later. Peace. Deuces. All right. I'm trying to give me the Bentley I'm trying to give me the Rover I want to sip on the Henny She want to drink a mimosa See me running with the old tunes Heard she trying to get to know us So I'm going to pass it to Gio Daniel When we know he going to hit the floater I like to sip on the Henny But niggas they asking yo when you going to roll